Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. I'm here with the final mission of this DLC, Dnieper. It's February 20th, 1943. Flushed with victory after taking Garkov, the, the Soviets were about to overplay their hand. Red Army intelligence misinterpreted all German movements as purely defensive in nature and consequently the already overstretched Soviet forces were ordered to conduct yet another offensive. This time the goal was to seal the fate of the entire German southern wing by reaching the Dnieper River. But the Germans were about to pull some nasty surprises out of Manstein's hat. We have to take Kremenchug wow, and Kursen Bridge as uh, additional objectives. Seven turns is not that much actually, wow. Means that not only do we have to be fast, but also powerful. Well, it is the last mission, so I can throw everything I've got into the cauldron. It's a shame we don't have more air power. With the Rasputitsa fast approaching, there's not a moment to lose, Commander. Utilize the Voronezh front to protect your right flank, while southwestern forces race to seal off crossing points on the Dnieper River. Meanwhile, Southern France should regroup its forces for an assault on the Mias River. Be warned that despite what our intel says, rumors abound of powerful enemy armor elements arriving in this theater. We have some reconstituted units. Kermanchuk is 7 and hold. Stalino is a 7 and hold. Kursen Bridge is a 7 and hold. Sumi is turn 4. Really hope they won't bring in this unit. Tnipa Petrosk, turn four as well. Saprushia, turn six, and Maria Paul, turn seven. This is purposely our spy. Everything here is our spy, just because of this one stupid thing. I guess that's purposeful, but. Uh, very nice, it is not. All those guys are southwestern front. Southern front is all this infantry. Alright, alright. Um, the thing is that... Let's give you at six. Southern Front cannot create pontoon bridges. They can probably deal some nasty to D, so I should. Probably give them some heavy artillery. Paid steps either. Let's get rid of this guards. It doesn't. It, it will not reach better status anyhow. Might as well give them some powerful units. I have
no infantry left to purchase. That is actually tricky. Let's get rid of this guards unit because it doesn't add anything. And where would pontoon bridges be useful if they're useful at all? I don't think they are. At least they don't seem to be. No. Let's take a look at Vornesh front. If I'm gonna get Sumi turn four, I do think I should put some relatively powerful units also to move up through there and there. Now I need to get the Kremenchuk turn seven. But. is fine. Question is whether I want to strip the 6th rifle division for other units. I could just at least 2, 3, 4 so I could strip it entirely. And so work out well. Might as well give these guys some decent steps because. There really is no reason for me not to. I have all the prestige in the world and I don't need to care for it. Uh, supplies. Get one on the next turn. I cannot play the card now. Nope. They really did it so purposefully that I'll be in poor supply turn one, like just not getting this piece of rail, just putting that there. That's very purposeful. It's a bit sucky that all these will be out of supply, but I guess next turn I'll be able to work with it. Should have moved the HQs, damn it. Okay. Yeah, because now I also cannot build a pontoon bridge. Uh Man, I already messed that up. If I had only moved it. No, actually, that's not true because it would have been out of supply here anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 
I guess the best thing I can do is put these guys here and then just wait because I'm not gonna be able to support that anyhow. Um, let's start up here. I wanted that unit to become a weak unit. Two and one, eh? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, it had to be... Well. That means I'll have to move these guys up to Sumi 2. But I'm not too appreciative. Wow. Um. This uh, Leibstandard is pretty insane. Technically, if I were to, to, to take Dnipa Petrovsk and destroy that supply hub, these units would be out of supply. And I don't think there's any better use for it than to do that. Uh, apparently not right now. Um... We'll get him to Veteran, which will help for the rest of the mission. Still cannot use it. Okay. Another thing that I could technically do is destroy that rail bridge, but that only works if I could have cut that off. Um, Which I clearly can't with another armor in here. <clears throat> um. That means I'll have to do something else here. It's a seventy percent. Nice. Um, that helps a lot. Do 
Do I want to get Pontoon Ridge? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm sure they don't have a lot there, but... <clears throat> now... Uh, those guys are out of supply, all three of them. Which means they either get to attack one turn, or they have to retreat to Poltava. But... I would assume it to be problematic for them either way. Now... Rear guard, huh? Um. Actually, I would take that. I want to surround as many German units as quickly as possible in order to improve my general situation. Mm. It's unlikely that I'll be able to get in between all of this because I would also cut off that armor. But I do think that it's also generally worth a look. Interesting that this unit is weak to hmm. They have seven movement technically one two three four five six seven right. no, it's a Three four five six seven This has them barely in supply, but it does have them in supply. Actually, I should be able to get through there. Okay, so this at least cuts off all the units in here and they cannot resupply for a turn. It's quite worthwhile. Uh, 
I... We'll also cut them off. Now, I do think I have enough units around here to go and deal with the entire southern wing. Ultimately, given that all of these guys are now substantially weaker. Good thing is they will not be getting that back. I think. Not actually sure because they're out of supply only for one turn indeed. They might actually attack. I can see them do that, but... This is tricky, but I actually don't think they'll attack there either. Just in case, I'll move these somewhat further down. And do that. We'll see how they react to it, but obviously... My operations there aren't the best in the world. I'll make sure that these guys are on the on a good road here and I'll move my elite units up as well. They'll be able to trash through here on the next turn. Move you in here because I don't care about Slavyansk itself. Uh, yeah. It would be rather ridiculous if I were to give them northern donuts. I have to be very careful about that kind of stuff, so. This should deter them, hopefully. All right, next problem. Which is this Gross Deutschland motorized unit. If I soon can cut off the rail line, then that means that these guys won't be that big of a problem anymore either. 
My concern though is that they'll try to do something to the rail line. Moving in here will get my cavalry killed for sure. But it also distracts them. Um, I cannot allow them to cut this off here. Can go into these areas though. Move you over here. I do need to take Zaporoshia as well. Now, if we look at supplies, they don't get supplies through that, of course, as a rail. That would make no sense. But if I could cut off Zaporoshia from the rear, then it will be out of supply for turn six. So that too would be quite nice. I'll have to see though, because this unit is exceptionally powerful. Uh, I'm also offering up the 350th as bait. If they move in here, I'm in trouble. So it sucks, but I really need this to stay in supply here. I will also get the guards, uh, this guard tank core. If I cut them off turn two, it won't be that bad, but no way to cut them off turn one. Kind of sucks that I didn't kill this, but I got close enough, I guess. Uh, they are cut off. Getting them to Sumi is no use because they'll already work everything out. Let's move them down. And... If I move them forward, I might be able to resupply them next turn. That, I, I guess that would be a thing. Yeah, I would have to. All right, let the carnage begin. Yeah, they did not resupply, okay. There we go. This is fine. Okay, just moving out. It's <laughs> pretty fine. Oh, jeez, what the fuck? Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Man, that's an engineer there. Okay, well I knew it. They didn't actually overrun them, interestingly. They did overrun there. 
Yeah. No overrun at the latest. No overrun. Ugh. Wow. Okay, that's rough, but I think it might be fixable. faint attack immediately. Their cutoff. <clears throat> I, um, do wonder where their units are. The fact that I don't have recon is somewhat rough now. Actually, I would take the damage there. Um, I don't need to be there till turn four. I can kill them and move up. They should. Well, they have a chance of supply at least. here <clears throat> which means it's cut off for a second turn they should also be cut off for a second turn there things have gotten a bit messy around here and with a bit messy I mean quite a lot messy let's start with ticking chromatorsk most of these will be either completely out of action or almost completely out of action It's funny and super convenient that those are the units that exactly those units had to be uh, cut off, but I can still do something. Was the idea at least? Um, now I 
I can move the guards mechanized through here and attack this armored unit. Move you in here, get you supplies. I already know there's a unit in Stalino itself. That ultimately worked out quite well, since it means now all of those units are also cut off, which uh, I quite needed. Let's see what they do like this, because I don't want these guys to get out of Supply for three turns to be in trouble, but I do want to hold that bridgehead. Um, okay. It wouldn't surprise me if they were to launch a counterattack against Salino. I could actually just give it to them and just straight up take the road because they'd be cut off anyway at that point. Um. Killing those. And I still don't want these, <clears throat> both of these to cut me off, so I do think it's uh, better that way. Let's do that. They are also cut off for a second turn this way. And the trouble up to a certain point is that 
my flank is very exposed to all these units, despite them, you know, not being cut off for that much. Actually, let's move you further ahead. I need to move around Saporoshia and cut off all the remaining supplies from all those areas. Um, let's give them study now. They will retake it. But... I guess I... I do have the means to... Uh, go and take it. Again on the next turn, so despite everything, like I said, I yeah, that doesn't help. I cannot really damage those. And I can't really go and get onto the rail hex here. So it won't really be effective by any means. Um, if they move up, they still cut me off there. to capture Tagon Rock either. So that stuff will be okay too. Okay, they'll be cut off for two turns, so that's okay. I don't need to Attack with them. I'll take this. And then all of them will be cut off for two turns. Okay. Next up now. Rest of those should be in supply. And I'm going to move you here because 
very likely they will try and cut me off and I want to have at least a unit there. I know they will be out of supply for two turns, but I need to have some firepower to get my units back in supply. Guess that's a good move. Uh. Huh. to work with the base is that it, it gets better over time here. Cutting off the rail at Dnipro, I think, now. Uh, okay. Also really helps. Or at Zaporoshia. Let's get you in the city. Okay, that's an and two. Like I said, I have to work with the basis that it gets better over time. Quite the stubborn unit. Huh. Okay. Let's get the next rail line going.
Yeah, this does not get me the rail line yet, but it does free up the guards mechanized to start moving as well. Let's see if I can secure the rail. Since getting that at least should help out as well. either so that should work quite well for that and it actually is a bit of unfortunate business that now I don't have the, the rail line uh, this way It uh, also means indeed I need to re-establish contact with my units like that. Um, that's a three. Just move there just in case. There should be a one then. Yeah, the chance of getting supplies are pretty low, but next turn, turn four, I'll take that. We've been out of supply for one turn. I guess I cannot get them there then. No. Not quite sure where these things. Well, they probably are trying to get to Army Group Mita there. I'll just kill those while.
Yeah, I would actually like to get this rail line through this area too in case they decide to go move up. Which, you know, they could actually do. I could see them do that. shouldn't have done it like that. This was really bad on my part. But, um, I got the chrome trick. They probably only have a, an alarm unit or something along those lines there. Probably nothing too fancy. I think Carson Bridge is probably empty, but I do need to start working that way as well. Quite seriously, actually. Um... That takes pontoon bridge building. Um, no, let's leave it like this because I could technically still build a pontoon bridge there now too, which could be useful. They can try, but... Really? How did they manage that? Which which unit? Oh, Army Group South event. That's... <laughs> Interesting. allows me to finish that off. Um, I really don't need any of those things. 
You move here. They are already in trouble. Kill them. Them. Ow. Okay, that entire pocket is now cleared. The There can now be cleared. Seems like they also resupplied 16th Infantry. That should work out some. Leopold is a turn seven objective. If there is anything at Mariupol, it should be cut off for enough time that I can move forward here. Five, huh? Great.
Interesting. I'll be trying to cut off Kremenchuk turn 5. That would at least have them cut off for two turns, turn 7. Um, if we're looking at enemy supplies, they have no supplies there. So the chance that... Well, never mind that. Yeah, the chance that I have something there is near zero. And I should be able to get a supply dump on Krivoy Rog by that time. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, shit. Well, I'll have to do it with this then. Man, come on. That's the absolute worst. Let's move. You too. I don't like this, but uh, let's move you in here. You in here. Do me a hold objective? No. Um, well, that means... I could blast my way through. Probably gotta be fine here. Okay, do need that one. Here. Yeah, I'll be fine, everyone. This one can extend next turn, so they'll be fine, although they're also, it should be okay, I think. This um, 255th Infantry is a surprisingly tough enemy. Can't even beat it at this point. Well, 
That is fine, but... Tricky nonetheless. Cannot do those kind of attacks anymore. Let's finish that off. Having dealt with that, let's just get you in there. Fog of War is gone. Maria Paul's empty. And these guys are also retreating. 15th infantry. Alright, so they have practically nothing left. It's only clearing up for now. Take the reward. Gets me close to Melitopol, and since these guys are not that likely to go and cut me off anymore, um, actually, I would like to get these guys to get the rail line too. That will surely help me a bit. Oh, of course. Now they will go in there. A bit frustrating that. Okay, I will get that Curse of Bridge on turn six, so. That should be good enough. Let's get all the rest of my units on either on rail hexes or they need to take. Useful. There we go. Kill the last German units. Connect the rail line. Grab that hexed piece of territory there. At least they'll be out of supply for two turns, so I should also be able to take care of that. So they did cut it off. It 
Let's kill them then. Take the bridge. Take Carmen Troop. Got all the real areas. Haven't gotten these yet, so. Need to get these guys back to the lines or to that rail, which I can also do. Get the prisoners. here also just trying to get more territory taking all that I have uh, one more turn to grab the last of that stuff, which I, I guess I will. Just capture Mirgorod. Pretend like I'm moving towards Kirovograd. Get them in supply. That's it. Um, we'll stick in every city on the map, except Carson, I guess. Yeah. Oh well, that's okay. Got as far as the map goes, take Carson Bridge in the Dnieper scenario. Disappointed in things not going as planned, Soviet General Fatutin proceeded to lay out even more ambitious goals. The failed attempt at outflanking the Mies River line was called off and replaced by a plan to advance all the way to the Dnieper. Had this move succeeded, it would have completely isolated the majority of several Axis armies. 
Racing the Rasputitsa. Wind in the Dnieper scenario, yeah. As winter turned to spring, the infamous Rasputitsa slowly but surely put an end to maneuver warfare on the Eastern Front. Oceans of the particularly sticky mud formed from the black soils of Ukraine reminded both sides of an age-old truth. It is sheer stupidity to attempt large-scale operational warfare in Ukraine during spring. Well, we did succeed. Congratulations, and... Let's look at this... I don't know if we'll immediately get to this. Yeah, we do. So, basically, Cox's area has been completed, or freed, and we also got all the way to the Kursen Bridge, get captured Kremenchuk. So, push the Germans all the way back to the Dnieper in the south there. So, that kind of stuff looks pretty good. That means there also will be no 43 summer offensive. For example, and the Germans are really on the back foot. Several German armies either destroyed or... You know, severely hampered. We'll just have to assume that they were treated or something, but... Um, yeah, so that was the end of the DLC. want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider leaving a like, or comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, but not for this DLC, of course. Thanks for watching.